I'll give you an honest answer. I'm not good. But thank you for asking. I appreciate it. (laughs) No, I want to be honest about it. I'm terrible. Did you wake up this morning and say to yourself, you know what I was thinking about? Because this happens to me all the time. I wake up the next morning. I was like, boy, I screwed this up. I don't know why I said that to my wife. Why did I do that? Did you wake up this morning and say to yourself, why the hell did I let Brian De La Cruz beat us? (laughs) Of course not. No, man. Why? Like, I just, I, I don't fully understand this. And I, I've I've tried to think through it because I was obviously, like many Met fans, annoyed last night. The guy's hitting the cover off the ball. You got two open bases. So can't even be concerned. Oh, well, Edwin Diaz will lose the strike zone. Great. You got one open base. You got a guy in Lewin Diaz who looks like he can't hit my pitching. Why? Well, Edwin Diaz. I mean, that's that's why we like the matchup of Edwin against Brian at, the, uh, at that moment. And we felt that, you know, he's going to. He's going to get Brian out. That didn't go our way. So, uh, but Edwin Diaz being a closer and one of the toughest guys to hit, I think, in the game. You know, it's just, uh, that's what we want. No, no, I, up I, I, I get that. It's Edwin Diaz. He should get the last out. But clearly the guy on deck is a worse hitter. And, and it's not like Edwin Diaz dominates righties and can't hit lefties. Like, there's no split thing going on here. So I get the confidence in Edwin. I don't agree with you, but I respect it. But you've got two bases open and a guy who has struck out how many times in this game? Well, not. He didn't strike out, but he had weak contact all day. Like, the trusting of Diaz thing to me is not, like, I don't get that answer. You could still trust Diaz and walk a guy who's hitting 340, can't you? No, I just, I just told you my answer, and then I told you my decision. That, so I, I understand where you're coming from, and... Uh... You know, I understand your thought process too, but you know that that, that was the decision. That was the thought process. But you go with Mazik instead of JD Davis. Why? I mean, why not just go to JD? Who's clearly a better hitter. Yeah, well, it's a matchup again. Um, so it, Anthony, so Bender, uh, the sinker slider mix that X that that he creates with his repertoire, ninety eight, ninety nine mile per hour, and the slider is very sweepy, very very sweepy. So for for a righty, we'll start middle and be a ball away. And uh, Pilar and McCann, who came back to back, uh, it was just a, it's going to be a tough matchup for them. That's why we went the lefty Guillaume and the lefty Masika there, just to eliminate that slider, and to have him throw a back door, and or even try a back foot, it would be a ball. Uh, and that's why lefties hit a little better for him career wise in this season. I I totally get the logic. Like I'm not even like I get what you're saying. I guess my counter would be J.D. Davis is better. You know, Patrick Mazik is barely a major leaguer. Let's be honest. When do you balance the two? Instead of the righty-righty, which I understand. I get exactly what you're saying, but J.D. Davis is a major leaguer. J.D. Davis is clearly a better hitter than Patrick Mazika. So how do you balance the matchup thing with the this guy's better thing? Uh, with, with what I just explained with the slider, uh, which is um, Bender's, no, I'm no, going to no, say, I, I know I get Second that, but like there's pitch, but it's the one pitch that works of his sinker. So, no, I, so the lighter the slider will make righties uh, chase a lot. No, I get, but, but, the, but in the outer half. So if you have Masika in there, Masika can okay. eliminate like Guillermo did. You know, Guillermo ended up walking because it, it's tough for it's tough I, for I, I, under, his slider against I understand that, but obviously I know this is an extreme. If Javi Baez is on your bench, despite being a righty, you're going to use him because Javi Baez is a really good baseball player. You see what I'm saying? Like, I get the righty-righty thing, but J.D. Davis is significantly better than Patrick Mazika. So I respect everything you just said. Not even disagreeing with the whole righty stuff, but one guy is a lot better than the other guy. You see what I'm saying? No? All right, yeah, I, no, yeah. Okay. I just I explained myself. I'll let right, you explain right. yourself. So okay. I'm not this <laughs> Yeah, I'm not arguing. All right, all right. Go go ahead, Craig. I, no, listen. I'm annoyed. Uh, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> so you're allowed to be annoyed, and uh, Luis Rojas is allowed to answer it the way he is. Oh, I get it. it. He's answering it. Right? <laughs> I was begging for Luis Rojas to say, I needed that one back. I blanked up. And instead, we're all idiots because we don't trust Edwin Diaz. We're all idiots because, hey, look, Anthony Bender's got a nasty slider. God forbid we put a righty up against him. What I was trying to say is there are some righties you're going to put up because they're that much better than your left-handed option. I would argue J.D. Davis, as flawed as he is, is that much better than Patrick Mazika. If Luis Rojas had two choices on his bench to face Anthony Bender, okay, two choices. He had Pete Alonso or he had Patrick Mazika. Who's he sending up? We'd send up Pete Alonso. But what about Anthony Bender's slider? He's so tough on righties. Now, look. Is J.D. Davis, Pete Alonso, not saying he is. 
But I am saying J.D. Davis is that much better of an option than Patrick Mazika. And what pisses me off and why I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with him. D-E-D. And this manager is just say, <laughs> look, I messed up. Because there's no explanation for the garbage we saw last night. There isn't. I trust Edwin Diaz. First of all, you shouldn't trust Edwin Diaz. Second of all, there's two bases open. It's a tie game. It doesn't matter if you put him on first. The run doesn't mean crap. The hitter's Lewin Diaz. He's hitting 140, dude. So I put up with it. I tried my best. God, good for you. Yes, five more questions. I'm done.